the gymnasium. Fencers, or sword fighters, they meet in a duel. A duel is a fight between two people with swords or in modern times with guns. A duel can be to the death or can simply be a fight to see who's the best. Um, and they can fight with swords. These two gentlemen here are holding swords. Here's a sword on the ground, mark number six. Or with pikes. A pike here is a long stick and they can fight with pikes. Or with a halberd. A halberd is a long stick but it's got a blade at the top. Um, like so. We've seen it before in this series. And with short swords. Here's a short sword here. And rapiers here. Fences fence with rapiers. Now notice at the end of all of these, you see this little round ball, they've got a little ball on the end. That's to stop them killing each other while they're practicing. Because if there's a ball on the end, you can't poke it into somebody and wound them in such a way that it will be mortal. But if you slash them, that kind of cut can be stitched up. But if it pierces them from the end, it's fatal. They can also fight with two-edged swords. Here's a two-edged sword um, with a dagger. Here's a little dagger. And they can fight with a sword in one hand and a dagger in the other as well at the same time. Wrestlers, you can see here, they're having a fight. Um, they fight with their arms and their bodies. And among the Romans and the Greeks, they used to fight without clothes on. And they would cover themselves with oil to make themselves slippery. So it was very hard to get a grip and to fight. And... They throw each other and trip each other up. And then we have a special kind of fight here. This is for amusement, where the people are hoodwinked. In other words, they are, have their heads covered in bags or their eyes are um, closed with a blindfold. So they can't see their opponents. And this is a ridiculous fight. In other words, it's very, it's very funny. Um, and they sort of slash around and try to hit each other. And most of the time they miss and fall over um, or bump into each other. What I'm going to do is show you some examples of this as well, following now. In this, we see a fencing match. Well, if you look carefully, you see the ends of the blades have a little ball, even nowadays to stop you from going through and of course the fences here fight with face guards and with other protection underneath their clothing to stop themselves getting injured. Here we see two men fighting. This one here has got a halberd with the blade at the top and this one here has got a pike. And these two gentlemen are fighting with uh, broadswords. Here we go. And here are two people fighting with uh, daggers. These are practice daggers, of course. So they're made of wood and half swords. And here we have fighting with half swords. They can hold the swords in their hands because they've got metal gloves on called gauntlets. And here we see um, wrestling. This is very similar to the wrestling of ancient times where the bodies are oiled up so it's very hard to fight and these wrestlers are in Turkey and they're wearing special leather wrestling trousers. Here we go. Wrestling match begins.
And here's the end of the match. And the victor, the one who wins, has his hand raised by the umpire. And here we have blindfold boxing. Even after all these centuries, it's still done for entertainment at boxing matches. These two boxers are blindfolded, as you can see, they can't see each other. So it's quite hard for them to actually fight. They have to use their ears. And the umpire has to make sure they don't get hurt. And of course the umpire is at risk of getting kicked as well. <laughs>